All right, back from the weekend, quick tip Tuesday. Going to show you a really quick little 3D warp effect to make a still image more interesting. So we got this uh, little baby right here, and imagine he's in a video, but he's just sitting there very poringly. He's not even moving. So how are we going to make him move, right? So we're going to do this 3D warp effect, right? So um, in Avid, it is blend. 3D warp, let's drag it on. This clip right now, let's see, is about uh, six seconds. That's about a good length for uh, something like this. I would say between four and six. All right, so we're gonna set two keyframes. One, two, and the first keyframe leave exactly the same, but the second keyframe, we're going to increase the position, the Z position, bring him in a little bit, however you wanna do it. You could use this tool, which is nice, and we're gonna change the rotation. Now, depending on the way the kid goes, you can either either have him rotate right or left. Again, very slight. Uh, that is way too much. So I know this kid, I think he's going to look better at minus five. So that's it. That's my keyframes. He is growing and he is rotating to the left. And look how beautiful that baby is. And look how beautiful that image is. And that is Quick Tip Tuesday. And I'll see you in the next video some people think avid is really hard to learn but that is not the case and now there's an online course to prove it get all of the info and all of the details at avidbeer.com